Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, picture the scene. You're working on a piece of jewellery, it's all nicely polished up, and you've nearly finished it. And just at the last minute, you notice there's a terrible little scratch on it. Wouldn't it be great if you could just get a rubber and just erase it out? Just rub out the scratch? Well, no, you can. With one of these. Intrigued? Follow me, let me show you. Here we have a set of mini rubber silicone pin polishers and these are made by Ernst Vetter or Eve who make the majority of these all over the world and uh, great German quality. You might also see these referred to as Eve Flex or Ev Flex which is the brand name, not sure how you pronounce that. And these are small slightly flexible rubber pins. Each one is about 3mm diameter and just under 24mm long. And the thing that makes them work is that they are impregnated with abrasives. They come in a range of six different grits, each grit being a different colour. So it's wise to familiarise yourself with the different colours, as some are quite similar. Uh, in particular, note the difference between the red and the brown ones, and the green and the taut ones, because the colours are quite similar. They range from a coarse grit, which is the brown, through increasingly finer grits to the green and taut ones, which are used for final polishing. And used with this special mandrel, these are great for all kinds of materials, such as ceramics, soft minerals, glass, and all types of precious and semi-precious metals. So these are great for all kinds of crafts and jewellery. The set is supplied by Eternal Tools and consists of one of each grit. So this is a great way to give them a try if you've not used them before. Eternal also sell packs of six in each grit, as well as additional mandrels if you need them. To use them, you need this special mandrel. And this consists of a small collet attached to a 2.35mm shaft. And it contains a screw chuck. So unscrew the mandrel and insert the pin of your choice. And of course you'd usually start with the coarse one. Leave a good 4 or 5mm protruding out of the chuck and tighten it finger tight. You need to ensure that the pin is tight and it won't slip round but be careful not to over tighten it and dig in and tear the pin. In turn the mandrel fits into your rotary tool such as a dremel or a flexi shaft. A little tip here if you're using a dremel ensure that you've got a suitable sized collet. Check out my dremel video if you don't know what I'm talking about. So these are designed to run at lower speeds between 7 to 10,000 RPM and this is very important. Too fast and you'll generate heat due to friction so your piece will get warm. You could also work a depression in your item especially with the coarser pins. And of course with any rotary tool you can always get bits of debris flying off so very important were eye protection at all times. Because the whole pin is impregnated with grit you can use it any way you wish. So for larger flat surfaces, you might wish to pull a bit more of the pin out and use the flat side or to give you a bit more flexibility because it bends. Alternatively, if you want to use a shorter pin, it will be stiffer and allow you to use a bit more pressure on the tip. So depending on the use and the material that you're polishing, they will wear down. As they do so, just loosen the screw, pull out a little bit more and retighten it. And when you get down to the last few millimetres, replace as necessary with a new pin. A great tip with these is that you can use a craft knife or a little scalpel to sharpen them, just like a pencil. And this is great for getting into tight, tiny little areas where you can't get a polishing mop or other accessories. Obviously, if you're cutting the tips down, they will wear down a bit quicker. But it's a great way of using them. The biggest advantage of these pins is that you don't need any additional compounds with them. You just use them dry straight onto your piece. So this means that there's no messy clean up. It also means that you can see what you're doing. You can actually see the finish as you're working. Quite simple and it doesn't take long. This set of all the six different grits is a great way of trying them all out. I'm sure like me you'll find them invaluable. Once you've found the grits that work best for you and the materials that you're working with, get a few packs of each grit and keep a good supply on hand. I'd say you probably need three or four grits, coarse, medium and fine, something like that, and then maybe a finishing one. 
but I definitely recommend getting a mandrel for each grit. That way you can just swap them quickly in and out of your choke and it's a lot faster way of working. So there you go, Everflex or Eveflex silicone polishing pins. You'll wonder how you ever manage without them. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.